In this lesson, we'll learn how to randomize Webflow CMS items so they appear in a different order each time we load the page. We'll be using the randomizer power up for this. I'll leave the link to it in the description below. The first thing we need to do is copy the code and we'll add it to the before body tag of our page or project settings. From there, we can apply the attributes we need. The first thing we need to define is the component, which should contain all elements related to this instance. So we'll give it an attribute name of TR randomizer element and a value of component. If we head over to Webflow, we'll apply that attribute to our entire section here, and it's gonna have that value of component. So inside of that, we can have all of the elements that make up this component, and we have two collection lists here. The first collection list is gonna be set to randomize, so we'll give it the value of list main. So we'll basically select this list here, give it that attribute name of TR randomizer element, value of list main. All the items inside this list will be set to a random sorting order. And then we have an option for a secondary list, which will match the sorting order of the first list. So this one gets a value of list other. We'll select the second collection list here and give it an attribute of list dash other for the value. And we can have however many other lists that we want inside of this section. So if we publish that, we can try it out. And what we'll notice is these two lists match sorting orders and their order is different from what we have in Webflow. So now I'll just select this track and align these side by side. And we have one more option if we want to re-trigger the randomization, not just on page load, but also on click or hover of some div. So we'll use our trigger click in this case and we'll apply it to this button. So it's gonna get an attribute of TR randomizer element and a value of trigger dash click. And we can have however many instances of this that we'd like on the page. So I'll duplicate the entire section and let's publish. Notice how we can randomize this at any point and the order changes. And this is only affecting the list inside of this section. And then this button here only affects the list inside of this second section. So that's how to set up random sorting orders for collection items and Webflow.